Last month, traders' leaders met with the president at State House in Tebe following a four day strike in the quest for his response to the electronic physical receipting and invoicing solution IFRIS issue, which they want to be halted. Yesterday, the president met over 10,000 traders and their leaders at the ceremonial grounds Kololo following an agreement to meet them. The meeting comes as an attempt to restore harmony among the business community regarding the IFRIS taxes, among other penalties imposed by Uganda Revenue Authority. It is very important that our taxpayers help us deal with the issue of corruption. Because we have no, but why should, why should standardization of value take so long? What is the problem? Having met the president, the traders' leadership has, however, shown discontent with the president, citing none of their issues being addressed. They are threatening to lock down their businesses again, being displaced with the outcome of the Kololo meeting with President Museveni. The, the, the president wasn't prepared to give us what we expected out of him. That's all I can say. Because for heaven's sake, there were so many giveaways that he would do in a balanced mode. He did not balance anything. He was so obsessed and he didn't mind about the mode, he didn't mind about the losses, he even didn't mind about the cries. We as traders, we are very worried on what taken place yesterday. But any time we are going to announce what is next. But we are likely to announce the closure of the shops two months. The spokesperson of the Kampala Traders Association, Issa Sechito, says what they expected from the president's resolution to them is not what he delivered. However, he says a way forward is to be communicated as per a leaders' meeting that's going to be held before the week's end. Issues have been raised to government and particularly so to the president that we met. Unfortunately, I see no reason in either suspending, stopping, or even adjusting a number of issues that are of serious concern. This was a very big disappointment to the business community and the people who anticipated some positivity in the interaction with the president. Fellow business people, we are coming back to you. The next step will be given by you. It's your verdict that we shall follow. Others also had this to say about the presidential meeting with them over the double taxing and the IFRI system. Additionally, these leaders cry suffering policies from policymakers who create policies and implement them without consulting. That parliament has become commercial. If you have issues and you cannot commercialize them, don't think they will pass through. If it is the case, we are so disappointed. They are, however, calling on the business community to exercise calmness as they sort the situation. The civilization that was showed, you need to show it more, so that even if you decide to take any action, it is not violent. The traders' leadership are planning another meeting with the president before the official open meeting on the 20th of June 2024, as communicated by the president. We need to go back to him and lay bare the mistakes that we saw. So that by the 20th, when we meet again, maybe some mistakes have been corrected. Traders downtown Kampala still demand government action or their grievances, among others, the IFRI system. These are, however, threatening to impose another two month protest if their concerns are not addressed. Justin Nakami, UBC News.